This aviary, guys, I made it over the last week and a half. It took me about that long to um, fully complete the whole thing. And um, what's really great about it is I made it basically just out of spare parts, um, scrap wood, and uh, just wood that we have lying around on the farm. Um, and I got a bit creative and I made them some toys and perches all for completely free apart from the cost of the screws so so the costs um, involved with making this was I had to pay a hundred and fifty dollars for the bark um, to line the whole floor because the bottom was clay like this and so I wanted them to have a bark on the bottom and it's completely natural so they can chew on it and carry on um, so that's really good and another cost was the wire mesh and um, so I wanted to make sure this is really good mesh that I've got for them um, to keep them safe because that's the whole point of an aviary it's my responsibility to keep these guys as safe as possible um, so that was hundred and thirty six dollars as well and there we go now we can can have both of them in the frame um, so that's $136, so I'm sitting at about $280 right now, um, I paid $20 for the screws, and the rest was just used from stuff we have lying around at home, so yeah, the whole aviary cost me pretty much exactly $300, even this door here is a door that, um, we just took off, um, an old chicken coop uh, that my brother had made a long time ago and so that was completely free as well so it goes to show you guys you're able to do a really good thing for these animals for three hundred dollars which is cheaper than your general small bird cage about that size and um, now these guys are able to fly live happy and I've made it to suit their needs as well Wendy's trying to walk all the way to the swing. How did she move you? She move you, buddy. Aww. What do you guys think of your big cage? Hey, what do you reckon? And he's back on the swing. So guys, this is my crippled bird. His name's Hook, like Captain Hook. From... I'll let you tell me what series that's from. But yes, one of my favourite childhood scenes. I know he's not a macaw. But I think it suits him pretty well. And you'll see that's why his tail feathers are dropped. He's just um, using that to help him balance. Um, as he's only sitting with one foot and um, that's why I've made him a big cage so that he is able to um, make the most of his flying capability and um, yeah he can have some fun I've made them two swings a whole bunch of natural perches this one here is my favorite this one is a hanging perch and it's a swinging perch so I've just literally hung it on the top perch I've put some really nice and high for them. I've put a swing right in the back here, so if they want some privacy, they can come to the back. Um, I've got a big water bathing station made of stone. I've put that in the front there so that I can watch them bathing. I'm going to take the cage out. That's what they slept in last night. Um, I've lined the bottom with bark. And um, this aviary is 15, almost 20 meters square. Um... So it's about five and a half meters by three meters. And yeah, it's about two and a half meters high as well um, with a sloping roof. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a drain 
um, on the on the plastic roof um, so that the water can run into the bathing station um, but so you see for the roof what I've done is I've put a piece of builders wrap um, for like extra insulation uh, in the back section here then if I come along I've kept this one with just clear tiles so the sun can come through and then in the front section here I've only used mesh so that they can get rain and I've put a perch here for them so that if they want to be sitting in the rain they can um, and then I've got a feeding station here and what's really important is because we've got a cat around the area I've actually put two pieces of mesh here just on the feeding station so they can safely sit on this board and um, eat their seed and um, carry on. I'll also be able to give them fruit and vegetables on this piece here. So that's really cool. Here's a cool shot of um, Hook and he's just chilling on the swing that I made him. Um, and guys, that was also really easy to make. Um, let me know if you want me to make a video on how to uh, do these swings. They took about five minutes um, and was completely free. So, yeah, how cool.